Um, hello world and fellow true believers. This is Brenda, a lost Aspie girl, and um, I wanted to make this video because someone wrote to me this morning and asked if because I take things literally, if maybe I overthink things. And I can see how people might perceive it that way, um, other neurotypicals, and I can't speak for all people with ASD, but I think that I that this is definitely true for myself, and I think it might be true for other people with ASD, um, is that we because we take things literally. Um, and I'm going to give an example of this. Like when I was a little girl, and um, you know how how when you're driving there are signs that say no passing. Well, um, you know I'm I'm a little girl and I'm in the car with my mom, and she would pass those signs, and I would get very upset, and I would say. Mom, why do you keep passing those signs? They say no passing. And she'd go, oh, Brenda. And she didn't explain it to me because everyone thinks things like that are obvious. And it took me years to figure out that the sign meant no passing other cars. Um, see, and so that I think that is because the social brain, um, it takes it likes to take shortcuts. Um, but us with ASD, because we're literal, we don't take shortcuts. So words have much more significance to us. Um, and I think that our speech is often slightly pedantic because of the fact that we want to choose um, the correct word for the situation. But I think we find out at a very young age that no matter how hard we try, no matter how pre precisely we choose our words, people always misunderstand what we say because um, the social brain um, they like, like I said, take shortcuts, and and um, they don't like as many neurotypicals I've talked to, and they say that they're direct or that they're literal. Um, they're they're not because when a uh, neurotypical is direct, it's usually directed for optimum impact. It has it's meant to um, evoke a certain reaction in the um, listener. That isn't the way it is for us. We say things because we want to be understood. We say things because we want, we don't want, we want um, for exactly what we say to mean exactly what we say, nothing else. And that is definitely not how it works in the real world, especially with females. Um, nothing is as it seems. Um, and and it, it's, it's much more difficult to traverse. And I also think that because um, I do look normal that um, there's a, and I'm female, there's a much um, higher expectation for me to um, to act appropriately socially um, in social situations. And when you don't, people think that there's some type of intent behind it or purpose, or that you're overthinking things on, on purpose. But l let me give you some perspective on this. Now, um, what I've found is that most people, most neurotypicals speak indirectly. So what they say isn't exactly what they mean. So when one person says this phrase, it might, like a, a specific phrase, it might mean one thing, but the next person will use the same exact phrase and it'll mean something completely different. And like when we're younger, I think we don't have that theory of mind where we understand things from other people's perspective. But as we get older, we start to use logic and we understand that people don't see things exactly the way we do. But we also begin to realize that Everybody sees things differently, and everybody everybody means things differently because we can't read subtle social nuance and everything. Um, if if a person says one thing here, um, and they mean this that here, the next person you meet, until you learn their patterns, their behavior patterns, you won't know what they mean. If they say something indirectly, it could mean a, a, a number of, of of things, and depending on the context of the situation or anything like that, we're not, you know, if we aren't able to read those things, we're not going to get that. So what seems like overthinking is that us, we don't know. We don't know which it is. Like if, um, if I'm with somebody, I don't know, I can't think of something now, like certain colloquialisms or um, phrases that a lot of people use, each person will use it, it'll mean something different. And until you know that person, you're not going to know what they mean, especially if someone's very passive aggressive or indirect. Um, and, and, and people don't like being asked and they do feel like you're overthinking it. But how, if I don't, if I'm not able to read subtle nuances, how am I supposed to know? And how is that actually overthinking it if I don't know? Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that gives you perspective, but people, neurotypicals are not literal, they're not direct, not in the way that we are. We say exactly, I mean, when we say something, we mean exactly what we say. There's no hidden meaning. There, um, there's, you know, there's no agenda. There's none of those things that happen. And I think it happens more and more as um, neurotypicals get older. I think that language is much 
easy to traverse when we're younger because children are much more literal. Um, when I when I tell my niece a story or whatever, she if she doesn't understand what I'm saying, she doesn't she asks questions. She doesn't make assumptions about what I mean. And I'd rather somebody do that than assume whatever it is that goes through their head. Like recently, I had somebody, my a, a cousin on Facebook, decide to diagnose me with BPD. Um, I, that was obviously, I'm not sure what she was trying to do with that. She did it publicly. Um, some people say that, you know, she was trying to be mean. Maybe that's it. Or, or maybe because she doesn't understand my behavior, like I haven't seen her in like five years. I'm, I'm not sure. You know what I mean? So is that me overthinking it? I, I don't know, but I don't feel like I know her well enough to be able to determine what it is, her, her, her intent. But I think for her, she made many assumptions about me, you know, because I've had meltdowns and stuff in the past in social situations, especially with the females in my, in my family. They're very, very emotional and social. And um, I always felt like they spoke a foreign language because they never said, they never say what they mean or mean what they say. I'll, I'll actually give you an example of this. Um, not that long ago, I was over at my sister's house and I... Um, and I slept over, and, and um, I woke up in the morning, and I woke my niece and nephew up to go for a walk with me down to Dunkin' Donuts to get some, like, from, for them some smoothies and some donut holes. And my aunt was coming to pick them up um, later, but when I, when, when I got back there, um, my brother-in-law, he didn't know, like, where I had gone, and, um, and I, I, I wasn't answering my phone or anything, so I was just talking to them, and we were being silly and stuff. And he was very worried, so when I came back, I was explaining it to him, like, what happened. And as I'm explaining to it to him, my aunt comes in, and um, she asks what's going on, so I tell her, and her immediate reply to what I just said, that same story I just told you was, I know exactly what you mean. I've been trying to lose weight, and I, you know, like, I need to lose, like, 20 pounds, and I was like, what does that have to do with what I just said? I, what? And I didn't, I, I, I still don't see the connection, and I told my sister and my mom, and other people, and they all seem to understand. And maybe you guys can give me some insight into that, because I didn't see the connection. Is that me overthinking it, trying to figure that out, or is that just the crazy neurotypical female dra brain drawing conclusions um, or drawing meaning where there's none? Maybe it's that neurotypicals should actually think more about what is being said and make less assumptions. That is my take on the whole thing, and you guys can let me know what you think. Okay, um, that's this video. I actually want to make another a video that could, delves a little bit more into my assessment um, and what it meant, because I, I realized I just kind of told you guys about the assessment, but I didn't really tell you my full diagnosis. Um, I told you where it might be coming from, but I didn't tell you what that might mean for me. Because like I said, I think ASD, there are some, some differences, but there are many variations. Um, like for myself, I have executive function problems, and I, I would like to get into that because that is not necessarily common for everybody with ASD. Um, usually they're very, we like schedules and stuff like that, but when you have a executive function problems, um, sometimes you short circuit. And I'd like to kind of talk about that a little bit. Um, so I hope this is helpful. And if you guys have any feedback, as always, please write and let me know. Thank you and have a good day. Over. Bye.